Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell. He's a master club fitter at Second Swing. Today, we're at the Minneapolis Tour Van, and we're gonna be talking a little bit about smash factor and club speed and ball speed. Uh, I know Thomas is gonna go through and kind of explain what each of those are, how smash factor is actually calculated. It's actually uh, pretty simple, I would say, but uh, I've hit a few shots here. We're gonna also look at some data and, and kind of look at um, you know, how it's seen on TrackMan. Uh, so getting into here, Thomas, first of all, what is smash factor and how is it calculated? So smash factor, um, simple calculation is ball speed divided by club speed. Okay. So if we look at the screen for this last shot that you hit, notice this smash factor number is 1.48. So if we divide 175 divided by 118, mm -hmm. we get a number called at 1.48. Okay. Now this is a small preview of a of a driver fitting. We hit three or four shots with each club here just to kind of yeah. show some data. With a driver fitting, um, tour pros. Their goal is to reach 1.50. Yeah. 1.50 would be as efficient as you possibly can get. When you get a 1.50, you're hitting it right out of the middle of the club face. More, more, more likely, and the ball is more likely to get to go a little bit further. So mm -hmm. this efficiency is, is okay. really, really, really good. So club speed. So what, what's club speed? Club speed essentially is the speed that the player is delivering the club at impact. Mm -hmm. so it's basically with the driver. Um, 105 plus with the driver would be extra stiff. You know, essentially about 90 to about 105 mile an hour club head speed would be you know stiff flex for typically for typical player, um, and then below 90 about you know 75 to 90 would be about regular flex okay. for a driver. So helps us give us a general idea of what shaft flex we should be putting a player into. Now there are definitely different circumstances. For example, if someone's tempo is maybe a little bit quicker or a little yeah. bit slower where they may kind of fit in maybe a possibly a little different you know category essentially but for the most part that range that i gave you that helps us to find club yeah. speed what okay. shaft flex a player is going to be playing with ball speed however is includes where you catch it on the club face so if you hit it in the middle of the club face you know ball speed is going to be a lot higher yeah if you hit it on the toe hit on the heel catch it fat, catch it thin with maybe with an iron, um, that ball speed number is going to dramatically decrease. Yep. I pay a, pay attention to ball speed more than I do to club speed once I figure out what shaft flex a player should be playing. Okay. Because, you know, it's an efficiency. So the higher this ball speed, the more distance you can get. Um, essentially, every, you know, every mile an hour of ball speed you're gonna maybe gonna get two to three yards more mm -hmm. more kind of distance so every mile an hour matters to right. get distance so that's essentially kind of quick summary of yeah. what these three numbers mean um, if we take a quick look at just the little snippet of what you hit with your with your shots here we will notice with the m5 that was the first club that you hit we'll notice your club speed was the lowest 115 miles an hour um, and your ball speed was 166 so if we divide 166 divided by 115, we get a number 1.44 smash factor. So okay. notice that it was the lowest smash factor of the three. That tells me with that particular club that you didn't quite hit it as solid. Mm -hmm. Now we did have this one outlier down here that you'd miss hit a little bit. Right. The reason why the smash factor number was a little lower and that's why the consistency number was a little off, bit off. But it gives us a general idea of kind mm -hmm. of what everything is. We look at the ping, for example, your ping Club speed was about 119 miles an hour. Ball speed 175. Divide 175 divided by 119. Get a smash factor of 1.47. Okay. So closer to what we want to be at. You know, a typical amateur smash factor is going to be about 144 kind of plus essentially. Okay. Your better players, as I mentioned, tour players, 149, 150, most likely a lot, a lot of the times because they. Mm -hmm practice every day they've really got their swing tuned in to try and hit in the middle of the club face every time yeah um that's why it's very important to get fitted too so you know if you get fitted for the right length golf shaft it's going to help you find the middle of the club face better if yep. you're playing with a golf shaft for example that is too long you know you may increase your club speed but if you're not hitting that thing in the middle of the club face you're actually not going to hit it as far right. So that's why you always want to get fit and make sure you get the right length golf shaft in your hands. You know, there's been a trend for that golf shaft to kind of get a little longer over years and years. 
a lot of tour players actually play a golf shaft with a driver around about 44 inches. So really kind of interesting to know. A lot of manufacturers these days standard is yeah. about 45 and a half inches. It's because they're trying to make sure they hit it in the sweet spot. Yeah. They want to hit it straighter when a club's a little shorter. It's a little hit it, easier to hit it straight, but they want to hit it in the middle of the club face every single time. So that's why you know it's important to get fit um, and also find out which club you're hitting it more efficiently, yeah. which club maybe represents more confidence to generate more ball speed and in sense more smash back. Yeah, absolutely. And here, you know, obviously I was I was warming up a little bit with the M5. I think I had one, you know, rather big miss hit in there too. That kind of skewed that data right here on the it did. Yep. on the left. But then as I was, you know, getting into the G410 and then the Epic Flash, I was swinging faster, but I was also uh, hitting the center of the face more often. So I clearly was kind of warming up. And as I, you know, hit more or swung more, I was able to swing more consistently as well and find the center with the smash factor uh, consistency does de the the variance decreases as I get up to the epic flash there. Yeah, with a with a club that has less loft on it, this the ball speed's going to be higher. The smash factor is going to be higher. For example, okay. if you're hitting wedges, you know there's a lot of loft on wedges in you know, 50 to 60 degrees. Yeah, smash factor number is going to be close to kind of one one point one. Okay, as you kind of gradually move through the bag, you know seven iron, six, seven, eight, nine. You're kind of one three five to one four. If you're hitting it really, really solid, if you're not hitting it quite as solid, it may be around about one, one, you know, 1.2, 1 1.3 1 okay. essentially. And as you go, slowly go up the bag to a driver which only has nine degrees of loft, as we were testing here, your smash factor is going to be very, very close to 1.5 when yeah. you hit it right in the right. middle of the of the club face. Now, if you get a reading that's over 1.50, it's really telling us two things. One, the driver could be illegal. Yeah. Or two, the you know the system that you're using is maybe just picking up. You know the the club speed or the ball speed slightly incorrectly essentially. Right. But yeah, most of the time, 1.5 is as high as you're possibly yep. going to see unless something yeah. something is off a little. And bit. that will be with a driver. Otherwise, there's really some things wrong if you're doing that with something else. Exactly. Uh, yes. Right. Yeah. But it, the, essentially, smash factor uh, measures the efficiency at which you make contact with the it's golf ball. It's an efficiency rating. Yes. Yeah. So the higher the smash factor, the better you are hitting the golf shot. It's great information again, Thomas. Thanks for joining me. And uh, I know I learned a little bit about smash factor here too. Yep, so for our customers, very important to come in and get fit, find out your club speed, find out your ball speed, smash factor, to help determine which manufacturer you're going to go mm -hmm. with.